Sarah Sun becomes the first person of Chinese descent to win the Miss Utah pageant. And while many people are happy for her, some think it's a conspiracy. Yeah, this is going viral right now. Andrew, there are three different conspiracy theories surrounding the winning of Sarah Sun from Miss Utah. One of them is a DEI conspiracy. Some people think you're trying to replace white people. That's the global narrative. Some people think she's a CCP plant. It's designed to soften us and weaken us and butter us up for what's coming up. Whoa. And other people think it's actually a Mormon religious conspiracy. So listen, guys, it's 2023. I'm not saying any of these are true i'm just saying these are all in the comments section wow all right please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pop boys as we get into this first of all congratulations to sarah sun she's a great pianist okay she looks like a very nice girl uh and yeah she seems very involved in her community so shout out to her i highly doubt any of the other contestants on stage with her could play the piano to the eight out of ten level that <laughs> she's good at i mean well, she's I, I, really good at it she is a very good at the piano yeah so I, I and and whether or not people care about the pageants nowadays because there's tiktok and instagram and those are the beauty pageants nowadays anyways Shout out to her. You know why it's noteworthy, Andrew? Look at some of the previous Miss Utahs. Oh. She does not look like the previous Miss Utahs, yeah, right? It, it is significant. I do want to say back in 2005, a Cambodian-American woman by the name of Savan Juan, she won. She was very good looking back then. So I don't want to say she's the first Asian person to win, but she's the first person of Chinese descent, right? Yeah, but interestingly enough, Andrew, her being of Chinese descent sparked a firestorm of comments from across the internet. This theory, that theory. I mean, uh, I don't know. Is that the nature of everything in 2023? Where there's always a conspiracy behind the conspiracy? Well, you know what the C in Chinese stands for, David? Stands for conspiracies. All right, let's get Are you this. Chinese or are you conspiracies? <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. Let's get into the first one. It says, it should be corrected to Chinese American. Why does the article say that she is Chinese? Is that designed to put something in our brain? How could somebody that's Chinese from China be the queen of Utah? She's just an American. Why don't you call her an American? Yeah, I love the classic. Well, she's just American, just like me or my daughter or my niece. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Obviously people, we don't get treated like Americans. Listen, if I got treated like an American, I would be more than willing to not say Chinese American as much, but definitely that, that feels like that's part of my identity. But here. it is true. And I'm not saying I agree with them that technically in an article that says that is the first Chinese person to win, she is technically national nationality wise an American. So she'd be Chinese American. Right. So do you think the to the headline, the person who wrote this article or the editor who chose the headline, they just didn't put Chinese American? I don't know. Anyway, it could have been for clicks too. Honestly, guys, listen, it's 2023. We don't know about clickbait. We don't know about click farms. We don't know about this farm. Well, you know what the the C in Chinese also stands for? Stands for clickbait knees <laughs> somebody said the media sure loves to promote and celebrate stories about white people being replaced in things that traditionally belong to white people but of course i'm gonna be accused of being paranoid and not actually gaslit at all i'm already predicting what people are gonna say against me ah good old replacement theory um yeah i mean i could see why some old people feel this way but man just just calm down man just calm down Somebody said, you know, that's really funny that you guys just want Sarah Sutton to be called a regular old American now because it was whites that actually originally created the concept of a hyphenated American. But now they just feel like the tides are turning on them demographically. So now everybody wants to go back to a generalized melting pot, huh? Man, I thought I was just going to celebrate Sarah's son, Miss Sun celebrating. Now there's just all these different comments. That this man. comment section's getting a little hot in the kitchen. Um, Somebody said, wow, congrats. I never would have thought that in Utah. Yeah. Do you think it's changing? I mean, Utah, like we said, here the previous Miss Utahs, you just don't think that that would be the case? No, I, I think the a Utah Asian population is very small. It's less than 100,000. It's more like 75,000 Asians in the entire state of Utah. So there's not a lot of them. Um, no, so th this is big. It's, I mean, it's not big, big, but it's cool. Oh, Andrew, we're going to get back into the conspiracy theories here. Somebody said, you know, I don't think that Sarah Sun deserved it on a physical looks level. So there must be some ulterior motives, right. which is also indicating some of the conspiracy theories, Andrew, that we have, uh, yet to cover yet. Um, somebody said, no, listen, guys, it's not conspiracy theory. She's going to Harvard to get her Juris Doctorate. She deserved it. Do not try to downplay her achievements. Somebody said, no, 
She's a CCP plant. She's here to design us to relax us. What? It's Miss Utah today. It's the Utah Jazz tomorrow. What's going on? Um, what do you think about this theory? Is it Utah or Utah? Uh, I think that. Let me uh, guess, Utah no. Watanabe with White Masaka, who is also from Utah. That's all the ding, ding, ding. I do you. not think she is funded by the CCP. I don't think her parents really even have connections. She is born in America. Her parents might be from China, sure. Um, is this part of a ploy from China, or is she a Chinese girl who just goes to BYU? She's part of the Mormon community. She's an amazing pianist. She's going to Harvard Law School, and therefore that's why she should win. It's almost like this feels like a college admissions video, David, where we're arguing about like just why she should just get in, not because of like necessarily even diversity reasons. Although I think that helps. Yeah, but do you think people questioning her? And this is kind of a messed up thing to question. Listen, guys, it's reality. Her hotness level is like contributing to the conspiracy theories. Man, I think these beauty pageants obviously should, I guess, still be, you know, based in beauty. But ultimately, you got to have the brains and you got to have other talents, man. Do you agree with me, though, that in the 80s and 90s and 70s, it sure seemed like they were just picking it off hotness? I think women who are pretty or even just fit or just like in good shape and talented and have great personalities, they should be rewarded. It doesn't even have to be like the hottest woman. Obviously, man, you have, there's a bunch of women on Instagram that are better looking that they could just award this to. Why, why not? Why don't they do that, huh? Somebody said this leads us to our last and final conspiracy theory. Like I said, I'm not endorsing any of these. These are just where in the comments. Like somebody said, clearly a ploy from the Mormon church to try to convince the largest unreligious group on earth to convert to Mormonism to boost their coffers. They said the Catholic church is doing this right now basically teasing that a chinese filipino potentially is going to be the next pope after this current pope everybody is going after the chinese market whether for market share of a cpg gadget or of a religion <laughs> um what do you think this is because somebody said that it is true that during the nightgown portion of miss utah andrew she wore something ultra modest and said this is what i believe in deeply to my core of my faith i'm a very strong mormon so i chose to wear something very conservative I don't think she's going to convince a bunch of Chinese people to be Mormon. I mean, if anything, I mean, if anything, I guess it's just nice for the Mormon Chinese community or, or Asian Mormon community to see this. So you're doubting this theory. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that even if you have a Chinese Filipino pope, a guy who's like, you know, of Chinese descent, but from the Philippines that becomes the pope. I don't think a bunch of Chinese people are running to the Catholic Church. You think Oh my god. Chinese people are that easily swayed when it comes to religion? Uh, it would be a little bit though. Like you don't think one person no, wouldn't no, convert like, to Catholicism like, yeah, if the yeah. guys are like I mean, that's just like anything though. I don't know. I just don't think it's having that big of an impact. Okay, well, you know, this is where our, uh, all the conspiracy theories went, guys. Um, Andrew, what are your overall takeaways? I got a pretty interesting one. Uh, I think that go all yours. Asians, Andrew, try to be the best overachieving students within whatever foreign project or identity that they undertake. Because a lot of things are not, like, originally from Asia that are, like, modern Western culture, right? Whether it's Chinese people loving basketball or Chinese people loving religions or Mormonism or whatever like that. But if they do adopt them, they're going to try to be the number one student of that thing because that's often how you look at something with fresh eyes when it's, like, new to you. You try to be, like, the best student of it. You know what I mean? Oftentimes, and I'll say that it's true in verse, sometimes the most purist or most, like, combat-centric, like, Wing Chun or like whatever, like, Chinese martial arts practitioners are not Chinese. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the most staunch Mormons are Sarah Sun. Mm -hmm. I'm, by the way, I don't really know her personally. I'm just saying, like, sometimes when you're new to something and it's not of your people, when it's in you and it's, like, around you all the time, you can be kind of jaded and you start kind of playing with it or getting loosey-goosey with it because it's so, like already a part of your culture but when you went towards something chances are you're probably a pretty fervent believer or activist or or, or uh, evangelist for that thing mm. that is my theory of and this is true of anything eastern people going to something western or western people going to something eastern yeah uh i can agree with you on that i also think that 
Maybe this has an impact on the other young, like Miss Teen Utahs and all these other girls who think that they're just gonna walk up in the pageant and take it because they're prettier than this or that girl or they're blonder than this and that girl. And I'm like, hey, ladies, you gotta show some talent. This girl is going to Harvard Law and she can play the piano. In a, in a way, I don't know. I'm not saying because I don't know all the other pageant winners in the past, but I doubt there was that many pageant winners that went on to Harvard and could play the piano at a pro level like her. Oh, I super, super so I'm just doubt saying, it. Obviously, I don't know, it but I would not put It kind of goes back to that stereotype of like anything you can do, there's like an Asian person who can do it better. There was one comment, Andrew, I'll end on this. Do you think that Asians or like that are from upper middle class families that obviously are training them very conservatively and very traditionally are almost like the new wasps of the 1960s, almost like the new Jacqueline Onassis or somebody that's like basically doing everything the right way. Whereas like white people or whatever people like they just, just been here for a while. They're starting to like, just be like, well, that's like corny to like learn to play the piano classically, or that's like corny to be like doing all these yeah. service projects. Yeah, yeah, I think they are. I think some Asians kind of capture that classical waspy Americanness even better because they come here as immigrants and they're not buying into all these other cultures that maybe American kids are super into. They're just focused on what was really, what a classical person would do in like the 1970s, right? Equestrian. Yeah. Piano. Classical music. Yeah. Being like a Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, th I think so. Wearing suits or wearing dresses. And uh, I think... I think it's true. I, th I think that Asians, I don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as you don't carry over like the old type of thinking from the 70s, right? In the 60s. But uh, I know a lot of Asian, young Asians are like international students who came to America and stayed with families and they ended up relating to the grandmother of the house or the mother of the ho host family more than even the other peer student. Right, right. We knew somebody who ran Chinese exchange programs who said yeah. that was a a common outcome. Yeah. Well, anyways, you guys let us know in the comments down below. Are one of these conspiracies more true than the other? Are they all false? What does this all mean? Should all American kids try to be more like Sarah Sun or at least people in the state and, of Utah? And if Asians start going into things like golf and pageants, are they just going to win it all? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, we out. Peace.